Hey everyone, Alicia Strager here from Fit Pro Essentials, and I'm going to show you how to share your recordings with your members, your community, whoever you want to share your live streams with. Now, there's two ways to do it. It depends on if you have a pro account or if you have the free account, uh, and if you are recording to the cloud, which is a pro option, or if you're just downloading the files straight to your computer. I did film a second video uh, that shows you the recording and the settings that you're going to need, so if you don't know how to set up the recording, to make sure your Zoom is recording, uh, then go ahead and click that link below because you're going to see how to be able to do that. Uh, but this is assuming it has recorded, and then now I'm going to show you how to get these recordings out to your members and your community. So the first way is if you have the Pro account and you're recording it to the cloud, which Zoom will host and hold your recordings for you, all you're going to do is you're going to log into your Zoom account. You're going to come over here to recordings. Now, this is a list of all of your recordings that you've got inside of your account. And if it says processing, that just means Zoom is processing your video. Uh, sometimes it takes a couple of minutes. It could take up to a couple of hours, depending on how big your and how long your live stream was. So to share it, all you're going to do is click on the link that you wanted to share, and you are going to click share so you click share and then right here is where you're going to see the uh, url so you're just going to copy that url you do have a couple of options here where you can password protect uh, and allow your video or your viewers to download the video so you can change those options as you want to so that is one way to share your recording the other way to share it is if you click into the link itself uh, you can click the copy shareable link here if you want to do that. But one thing I did want to show you is that you can trim the beginning or the end of your videos in the Zoom editor. Uh, that's really the only thing you can do inside of Zoom, but it's pretty cool because if you've got some dead space in the beginning of your video, or maybe you want to cut out some community chatter at the end, you can easily do that. And to do it, you're just going to click the video right here. And then you're gonna play it, and I just popped on, did a quick little one here. All you're gonna do is click this scissor button, okay? And that is gonna open up the slider where you can move this left and right depending on uh, where you wanna do it. So let's say I wanna trim the first second off. Now this is just a six second video. And maybe I want to take the last second off. Uh, I just do that with these little arrows, click save and done. And now when I share this, shareable link right here. Let me paste it into my browser. It is going to start automatically at the new place. So there's nothing else I have to do. That shareable link that you've got here and on the previous page that I just showed you, if you trim it, that is gonna be the new updated video that shows. So that's pretty awesome. The second way to do this is if you've downloaded the recording to your desktop. So if you don't have the pro version and you have the free version, um, you will only have the option to download the recording to your desktop. Uh, and you do have that option as well with the pro, but I do, I do like the cloud. It makes things really simple. Uh, so when you download it uh, to your computer, it will be in an MP4 file. And all you're gonna do once you've got that recording is you're gonna upload that to wherever you host your videos. That could mean YouTube, it could be an unlisted video or a public video, depending on how you have it set up. It could be to a Facebook group or a Facebook page. It could be to Wistia or Vimeo or anywhere else that you host your videos. So once it's downloaded to your desktop, you just have to drag that video into wherever you host it so that you will be able to generate a link to share it from there. Now, to keep your links nice and organized, if you want, maybe let's say you wanna have all your members have access to a page where they can see all of the workouts that you did for the last 30 days. So an easy way to do this is just to simply create a Google uh, Doc or it could be a, any kind of a doc that you could host in the cloud that you just have a running list of all of the recordings on and you give access to your members or your community to that doc, view only access, where they'll be able to go and click on the recordings that they need to access. So that is a very simple way to keep things organized. Of course, if you have a membership site um, or membership area, you can organize them effectively in there. Um, but that's just to give you a few ideas. And one other third one is if you have a Facebook group, you can actually create a file inside of a Facebook group and have a live running doc inside of there as well. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know below. And uh, yeah, that's how to access all your recordings and share them with your members.